A method is a set of related Java statements to accomplish a task. And the reasons for creating methods are to improve program readability, independent modules from the rest of the application, and code reuse. So basically, if you had a lot of code that you needed to be repeated multiple times throughout your program, you could just stick it in a method and then just call upon that method anytime that you need to execute that code. And all that code is now just in one spot rather than being all over the place throughout your program. So if you need to make changes to it, you can now just change it in one location rather than multiple locations. You create methods by writing a method definition, which includes a method header and a block of statements enclosed in curly braces. And the method header includes many important parts of a method, such as the method modifiers, whether it's public or private, the return type, does the method return a value back or not, and the name of the method, as well as a set of parentheses that may or may not have parameters inside them. Methods must be defined within a class, and a method call is when you execute the method. Methods are able to call other methods as well. So let's take a look at an example. So let's create some variables and add them up. Int a is 5, int b is 2, int c is a plus b, and let's print out the results, system.out.println c. And we get 7. So this code is actually already in a method called main. Main is the method that is called by your system when you run your program. And if you had a Java program with a million lines of code, the very first statement that's going to get executed is the first line of code in your main method. And your entire program lives and ends in the main method. But we're going to branch out of the main method and start creating all new methods that could be called from the main method itself. So let's create a new method. And it's going to be within the class, but outside of the main method, but at the same level as the main method. And it's going to look very similar, public, static, void. But we're going to give it a new name called add to add two numbers together. And don't forget the curly braces to open and close the method. And within the body of this method, I'm going to simply take this code and drag it and drop it right here. So now I move the code to the add method. Let's run the program and see what happens. Now I get no results at all because the main method is empty. Your entire program, again, lives and ends in your main method. And in order for me to execute this code that's outside of the main method, I need to call it. And I can call it by simply saying add with the empty parentheses. Now if I run the program, it'll add it up. There's seven. And because the code is all in one method, I can call this method as many times as I want. I can call add once, twice, three times, and get three sevens printing out, rather than having all this code repeated three different times. One problem is that I can only add five and two. And and if I wanted to update the add method, I'd have to go in there and change 5 and 2 to something else. But wouldn't it be nice if you could simply just stick whatever you wanted to add inside these parentheses, like 3 and 4? And you get an error because this add method is not expecting any, anything in the parentheses. So when you're passing data to a method, these are called arguments. And here, these are parameters that take the values of the arguments. If we want to pass two integers to add, we need to declare two parameters, int a and int b. So now a gets assigned to, to the first argument, 3, and the parameter b gets assigned to the second argument, 4. So I can just simply remove these two statements. And now I'm simply assigning c to a plus b, and it's getting its values of a and b from the parameters, and it's getting the parameter values from these arguments. And this works exactly the same, but now actually 3 and 4 is also 7. So let's change it to 3 and 3. And you see that you get 6. So simple as that, you can add a lot of different you know, numbers 2 and 9 and 32 and 23. And we get the sum of all those different values. In a future video, I'll describe what these different words mean, public, static, and void, and we'll see a few more different examples of methods.